Hey guys, it's Troy, DIY Home and Auto. Um, today, I'm working on my trailer. Um, this is a 1997 Coleman uh, Fleetwood camper. It's a pop-up trailer. Uh, i got a little kitchen there, a queen-sized bed at one end, and a double size at the other. I don't know which is which right now. I'm not even worried about that. But I'm having trouble with my uh, pump, my water pump. And I've isolated what the problem is, so I'm going to show you what I'm experiencing and show you what I'm doing to fix it. So let me flip the camera around and show you what we got. So in this model of trailer, um, here's the kitchen. Kitchen sink, turn some lights on. It's really small in here, so it's kind of hard to show you. But um, The fridge, and just to the right of the fridge, if you turn your pump on, you'll hear your pump underneath um, the seat. So I've taken the seat off and I put it there so I can kneel on it to make this job a little bit more comfortable to do. But here's the pump, and it is a uh, 2088-403-144 SureFlow diaphragm pump. Um, 7.5 amp is the max that it does um, here's here's what I found when I got in here this thing goes in line right there and that's it's a filter um, like a strainer there's a little screen down inside there and I'll show you this part up close and personal when we get there but the symptoms that I had with this is when when I would fill the cold water tank turn the pump on to fill the hot water tank and then turn the sink on but when I would turn the faucet on hot or cold I would just get a trickle of water and the pump was down here going kind of going crazy like it was spin 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 and it would get warm to the touch but not overheat so I filled my cold water tank about halfway up started pumping water into here turned the sink on and then opened this up so i could see what was happening at the time i looked underneath i had no leaks i didn't have any leaks in here either that i could see so i wasn't i wasn't concerned that i was losing pressure or leaking water so i thought maybe it was my uh, pressure fuse pressure sensor so i took the pump out there's just screws that hold it to the floor. And I took those four screws out right here and made sure that the diaphragm in there moved up and down. And it does. And so I'm pretty sure that that part's okay. But when I took this apart, I noticed that that thing, see that crack right there? Let me get to the workbench and I'll show you this up close and personal. We'll, uh, show you what I believe the problem is. Okay, so here's what I found when I when I discovered this. There's that crack right there. And when I took it apart and you just twist it just a hair this direction and then you pull it apart and you'll see that these these tabs right here there's supposed to be four of them across there and I'm missing one. That one broke off when I first took this apart. And see that right there? That's supposed to be down tight, like that, to hold pressure on all four corners. Before I took it apart, it was in there crooked, like this. So it wasn't fully building pressure. And I'm, I'm actually amazed that I didn't have any leaks. Um, but. Let me show you what I'm going to do to fix this. Let me get this put back together again. Just line your tabs up. Push it in all the way. And then righty tighty, lefty loosey. And it just goes far enough for that tab to hit and stop right there. So I have it back together. It's seated all the way in. I'm applying pressure. It's seated as far in as it'll go. And let me grab what I need to fix this, and I will show you a trick that I learned on the internet. You're going to learn something new on the internet today, too. Let's do this. 
All right, so what you need is super glue, baking soda, and a little piece of tape. I used blue painter's tape just to seal that off so I don't get any baking soda down inside my uh, filter. So here, I guess it's a strainer. Use strainer on vacuum side only. Anyway, so what you do is you take your super glue and you put a little bead of it around everywhere that you want it to go. And once you do this, you're not you'll you will never get this thing apart. So this is almost I mean this is a permanent fix if it fixes the problem. But it's temporary in that you're never gonna get this thing apart again. So you know, be warned, you do this to something and that part's permanently put back together. So super glue on there, and you know how super glue kind of takes a little while to cure? Well, not if you do this. So I'm going to hold pressure down on this, get some baking soda, and just sprinkle it down inside where that is. And this actually sets the super glue immediately. And it will already be rock hard. You don't really even need all that much super glue. And I don't know what the chemical reaction is that takes place. Some chemist watching this could probably tell us. So if you know what that is, comment below. I'm sure somebody's interested in that. I honestly don't really care what the chemical reaction is. I just want it to work. So that's already rock hard. Let's see if it moves a little any. Well, that thing doesn't even give a little bit. And this one's not supposed to. It's literally just a strainer. So, I am hoping that this is what my problem is. Let me get this thing all slammed back together. Um, and then we'll test it. See if we have water pressure after this. So, stay tuned. Okay, so I got it all put back together and tested and it works. So this is what it looks like when it's all put back together three screws hold it to the floor and then uh, these are just basically hand tight but maybe a hair tighter than hand tight you don't want to crank on them and real crack stuff but uh, make sure that your arrow flow goes into the pump there's only really one way you can put that thing in so you can't really do it wrong but make sure it's on this side of the pump not on that side of the pump but let me show you that it works I filled up the tank you can see water in the tank up to there and it builds pressure I have the pump turned on right now um, so the line is pressurized and the problem that I had before is the pump would just continuously run and it would never build enough pressure to flip the off switch to turn the pump off because it was not getting enough pressure so my Vanna White down here that's my daughter she's gonna turn on the cold water until the pump comes on so go ahead and turn it on can hear the pump turn on. We have full flow. We never got that much water out before we started this. Yeah, crank it up. Okay, so go ahead and turn it off again. And you'll see that this thing is pumping. You can kind of see water flowing through this little gadget. And as soon as it pressurizes, it'll stop. It takes a second. Boom, problem solved, and we are going camping with water. My wife will be happy. Gotta keep mama happy. This is Troy with DIY Home and Auto. Checking out. Do it yourself, save yourself some money. Thanks, guys.